What's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So yesterday, Jeff Keighley announced the nominees for all the categories for the Game Awards 2023. And as we know, Game of the Year is the most important category. And Starfield did not make the cut as a Game of the Year nominee. And I was shocked. I would have bet anything to anybody and guaranteed you that Starfield would be nominated for game of the year, it would be one of the six. Not because I think the game is so good, I wouldn't know, I haven't played it, it's not my type of game, but because there are different aspects that factor into what games get nominated. It's not just one thing, it's, it's multiple things, it's multiple aspects, it's commercial success, how much a game sells, it's critical reception, what reviews said, um, it's a, there's a little bit of you know politics involved, involved in it. They would like a representative from each of the big three, like Nintendo, PlayStation, um, and Xbox, because that makes for that that you know that that contributes to greater stakes and makes it more entertaining to watch and makes more people want to watch if like there's a contender from each and you want to see who's who's gonna win. And there's even like you know they try to throw an indie darling in there because um, that's what usually happens. So it's not just one thing. There's multiple aspects. And I thought the fact that this was an an Xbox exclusive and Xbox, you know hasn't they did technically have like i think two nominations um but xbox uh, xbox game has never even won a game uh, a, a a game of the year um award since this show because originally it started as the spike tv game awards but then after jeff Keeley, after it was jeff Keeley's show i think that was since 2013 so since 10 years a, a real xbox game has never been nominated it's definitely never won um so, yeah, I thought like, oh, this and, and, and you know, st all the hype around Starfield and, you know, it's a Bethesda game, which doesn't come come along too too often. All those factors, I'm like, yeah, they're definitely going to nominate nominate this game, regardless of the fact that the the uh, the, the, the Metacritic score was like an, around an 83. Uh, all those things. So. It didn't get nominated, right? And you know, I I, I live streamed the the uh, you know my reaction and everything like that. And I thought that like yo, if this game doesn't get nominated, Twitter is gonna blow up. Like it's it's gonna be absolute chaos and anarchy on on Twitter on social media. And you know, at the time, to my surprise, I was scrolling through Twitter. I'm like, yo, Xbox fans seem to be taking this pretty well. Like I don't see any of them being irrational, being ridiculous, crying and all that stuff. At the time, at the time, there seemed to be a little bit, a bit of delay, you know, which w with everything, I guess. And I should have waited because later on that afternoon and up until this morning, I was like, oh, OK, there they are. Now, now they are here. They, they have arrived. Maybe they got the news late. I don't know what happened. But but the insanity ensued, you know, since then. Because, bro, we. Since since this since then it's been oh Starfield and the Xbox tax, the Xbox tax, Xbox tax is just another buzzword um, from fan Xbox fanboys specifically. Uh, that really just means media bias. You know, every few years they got to switch around the word just to help them sleep better, to help them cope, as the kids love to say, as they love to throw around on the internets. The word cope. This is premium cope. Just, just pure, straight from the source cope, bro. Like the the most potent font, the potent type you can find. Like sniff it. It's gonna go straight to your brain. You'll pat. It's oh, it's pure, bro. That unadulterated, untampered with cope. It's good. <laughs> you give a fiend a little, a little. Net, he's gonna he's gonna be a lifetime customer. That type of stuff. Because, bro. Just the lack of accountability and, and just the, the, the detachment from reality that I've seen, especially this morning, it, it is crazy. Because now, now what they're pretty much saying and, 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 and trying to ask is, okay, why, why is the expectation, why was the expectation from Starfield so high? Why are all these articles now coming out about Starfield not being not being nominated for game of the year why is the focus on Starfield 
I'm like, bro, do Xbox fans not understand how hype and expectation work? Do, are, are they like completely devoid from reality of how these things work that you cannot hype something for years and years before it happens and build the expectation for what it what it will be? And then when it at least doesn't meet that measurement from reviews or, you know, just the the the, the general outlook. That. That has repercussions, that has consequences. You, 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 you really don't understand why the focus is on is on Starfield, not making game of the year, the game that before it was before it even came out was hyped for years by fans and by the developer. I'm not knocking the developer for, hype, for hyping it. That's what the developer is supposed to do. But the game that all, all these fans said was going to be game of the generation, groundbreaking, earth shattering, earth shattering, revolutionary, never seen before, a once in a lifetime experience. It'll, taint, it'll change the tides. It's the second coming, the game that we'll be playing 10 years later, all the, all these adjectives all all these words to describe this game that will absolutely change the landscape of gaming and then when it doesn't live up to that hype regardless of what you felt about it when it doesn't live up to that hype by the consensus you're now confused and like why is everybody focused on starfield i don't know maybe because the last 2 3 years all we had to hear from Xbox fans is this is going to be the greatest thing since sliced bread and pants with pockets. We had to endure that. We had to listen to that nonstop. So you can't Starfield can't get all the coverage before it's released, before it's released. And then and, and also when it's released and then and then when it doesn't get nominated for an accolade. You can't be like, huh, why is Starfield getting all this coverage? It does, it's not a one-way street. You can't get all the coverage when it's positive. And then when something slightly negative happens, you're wondering, why is it getting all this? Are you serious? Are you serious? Or is, or is this a joke? I just want to know. Like, is, is, because I hate, the word, I hate the word gaslighting, but this is premium gas. This is peak gaslighting. And a lot of people like misuse that word. So that's why I don't like to use it. And it, it sounds a little bitchy, but it, it's, it's literally when you try to manipulate and make somebody question their perception of reality as if something did not happen. We definitely endured hearing Xbox fans hype this game and telling us how it was going to be better than anything ever that we experienced in something we've never seen before. We experienced that. That wasn't some alternate universe. We didn't dream that up. That wasn't in our heads. That wasn't in our mind. It wasn't a figment of our imagination. That happened. That happened. So you don't get now to get on, get on the internet and be like, huh, I, don't, I don't get why the expectation for Starfield was so high. I don't get why it's getting all this coverage. Why is, why is everything on the shoulders of Starfield? Because y'all put it there? Yeah, bro. I literally said so many times, Xbox fans, when it comes to hyping and putting the, the weight of the world on one game will always be their downfall. It's always one game to take y'all to the promised land, one game to be y'all Messiah. And then that, when that one game doesn't do it, y'all move on to the other game. Y'all have a new savior. Y'all have a new hope every other month. Oh, this game is going to do it. This game is so when that game does not live up to that hype, and most games can't because that's unfair, y'all did that. Y'all keep setting up something to fail and blaming everybody else. We didn't do it. We didn't tell y'all that Starfield was going to be this. Y'all told us. So we listened to y'all, and now we are responding. So y'all, y'all acting confused. We're confused as to why y'all are confused. Y'all confused. We confused. I, I'm, I am. This, this, this is insane.
So now they now they complaining, talking about all this Xbox tax and media bias and all this. The fan base that your 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 preferred platform just bought two publishers, acquired countless IPs, countless studios. I don't even know the count. This, this is, these are the people who are still complaining, who are still unsatisfied. $70 billion. That's what your preferred platform spent. And y'all still are finding something to cry about. Because it's always this victim mentality, bro. It's, it's, with, with Xbox fans, bro, y'all can never escape being victims. And at this point, y'all not victims. Y'all volunteers. Because, bro, like, it, it's always like this ever-looming boogeyman that's haunting Xbox, just trying to hold them back. The, the man is trying to hold Xbox back. It's always this, this, you know, this eye of Sauron, this shadow who's always casting a bad omen over Xbox. It's always everybody else's, everybody else's fault, like, that Xbox can't succeed in the way y'all want them to. This ever-looming shadow and all, they're cursed and... How about a little, bit of, a little bit of accountability? How about that? And, and, and also, just a comment on the, oh, the, the game. Remember, oh, the, the game that we'll be playing in 10 years and the game you'll be playing, you'll be done in a weekend. Let, let, me, let me put that to bed right now. I'm not saying people won't be playing Starfield in 10 years. I'm saying nobody's going to care. And most people probably won't be playing it in 10 years. I don't think most people will be playing any game that came out after 10 years. That may have been something that happened before, but there's way too many games and technology moves way too fast for that to still be happening. It's, it's not going to happen. Nobody, most people in 2033, I, I assure you, I guarantee you, they are not going to want to play Starfield. There's going to be way too many experiences, way better experiences that play better, look better, whatever, do, do better than Starfield. And that's not specific against Starfield. That's specific against any game. That's, that's, that applies to any game. So this whole, oh, we'll be playing it in 10 years. That's a grift. That, that's a lie that I don't know who sold y'all that lie. I think maybe y'all sold y'all selves that lie and, and, and the developers and the publishers kind of like latched onto that and promoted that too. It's, it's, it's all a grift. It's, it's all a lie. It, it helps y'all sleep better at night to think that you have this game. Oh, I'll be playing it in 10 years. Bro, you don't know what you're going to be doing in 10 years. Gaming is, is a hobby of the present. That's what it is. It's for enjoying games at the current time. It's not this game specifically. Each title is not this long term investment for you to play in 10 years. It's for the now and the immediate. That's what it is. Trust me, when in 2033, when you when you look at all the other games that are, that are coming out that year around that time and you look at Starfield, you're going to be like. You're not going to want to touch that. You're not going to want to touch it. Not because it's a bad game. Once again, I don't know. This, this, this video has nothing to do with my opinion on Starfield. There might be a better Starfield. There, I don't know. There might be a better game than Bethesda. You're not going to care about Starfield. And something new and makes the last best thing obsolete. That's why gaming is a thing of the present. Because there's always something new making the, making the, the last greatest thing kind of obsolete. So y'all, y'all promise that whoever told y'all this promise of, oh, you'll be playing in 10 years. They lied to y'all. I'm sorry. It's not happening. It's, it's false. It's bullshit. It's nonsense. It's not happening, brother. So stop putting your, your, all, all your, all your, you know, your pieces into this promise that you'll be you, into a game because it'll give you 300 hours or you'll be playing it in a decade. You don't even know where your life is going to be in a decade, but you think you're going to be playing this game in a decade. Stop it. It's not happening. Xbox fans, I, I, I need, I need y'all to, to stop trying to like 
change what reality was. We, en- we endured what we endured and we listened to y'all for, for years and how y'all talked about Starfield and, and, and how y'all hyped it up. Hype and expectation comes with, it has, it's supposed to come with results. And when it doesn't come with results, yes, there will be other consequences and repercussions from that. That's how things work. It's not only in gaming. It's, it's in all aspects and all factors of life. Sports, when there's a, you know, when there's a highly touted you know, um, draft, uh, you know, like Wimbenyama now or, or LeBron like mad years ago when they were coming out, of, coming out of high school or college and people said, oh, this is going to be the next great basketball player we're going to see for decades. If either one of them didn't or don't live up to that expectation, yeah, they, that would be a lot of coverage. That's what happens. They got coverage before they got drafted. They get coverage. They get a lot of coverage book after. And if they don't live up to that hype, they get, they get called the bust and all this coverage and they get shat on. That's what happens. Only y'all think that for some reason Xbox is supposed to be the exception to this? Like, bro, if I hype up an episode of Weapon Wheel and say, oh, I, bro, this episode of Weapon Wheel is about to go. I got something crazy to show y'all. It's about to go wild. Something y'all never seen before. You're going to want to tune into it. And, and then y'all show up and it's, I don't know, it, it, it's, it's Jack moving a monkey suit doing a two-step maybe y'all might like that but like bro this y'all gonna be like bro this is not what we were expecting when you hyped up the next episode of weapon wheel and said it was going to be the greatest thing ever made like bro it's 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 just round ass jack move in in a in a monkey outfit this this is this is what you promised us like bro (laughs) y'all gotta stop being victims and y'all gotta stop making excuses it's it's been old it's been it's been lazy stop blaming everybody else like bro we sick of it we sick of it bro stop stop and stop stop hyping up all these games telling us it's the greatest thing ever and then when we hold y'all to y'all word y'all word not ours when we hold y'all to y'all word y'all get mad at us for us and Mad at, mad at everybody else for it and, and act all confused and bewildered and scratching y'all head like y'all don't know what's going on. Stop this. It's not, going, it's not flying no more. That's all I got to say. Let me know what y'all think. Um, a lot of, and it's not, you know, I, I, I got a, a lot of um, Xbox dudes I'm, I'm cool with that I, you know, they they be in these gaming streets, but it it, it be it be the popular ones and and the ones with with the following that be doing a lot of this frauding and faking, and y'all are phony. Y'all are phony. Like, bro, we seen what you wrote. You 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 know we could, you know we can find your old tweets, right? And it's not hard. When y'all tweeted about this game every single day for the last two years. It's not like we have to like do a deep dumpster dive, get in a submarine to find these tweets. Y'all tweeted about it every single day for the last two years. It's literally all over your page. So then for you to come and act, act like, oh, I, I, I don't know where all this hype and expectation came from. You nigga, you, you who look at your page. It's right there. there. There's nothing worse than something being right there and people acting like, oh, What are you talking about, brother? I don't know. <laughs> bro, it's right there. You're the one who put it there. Like, bro, premium, pre- like I said, peak gaslighting. That's what that is. Either they're devoid from reality or they're just being like intentionally ignorant and dense. I don't know which one. Hit the like button. Follow me on Twitter. Um, all that good stuff. I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.